<laughs> so this is a dissection of that upper spiral line. This is the point that I want you to get and then we're going to build it is here's the splenius, here's the rhomboids, here's serratus, which is a huge muscle as you'll see in a minute, a piece of external oblique, a piece of internal oblique going over to the ASIS. In other words, you'll build it in a minute, this piece with the scapula still attached. And the scapula has the rotator cuff still on it in this dissection. Now, the point that I want to make, the point that the books have been missing is that you will find in the books that the rhomboids go from the spinous processes to the medial border of the scapula. And almost every time in Netter and a lot of the others, there is a strip of bone in between. I am here to tell you there is no strip of bone in between. None of those books list the proper attachment of the rhomboids, which is that the border is glued into this rhomboserratus muscle, but you can remove the scapula and have plenty of attachment from the splenius to the rhomboids to the serratus. Look at the size of that serratus anterior. That's what we're about to work. There's the external oblique. And here, I freely admit, we just carved this through the rectus abdominis. Here's the rectus abdominis going down through. This is not clean, beautiful dissection. We just carved it, included the rectus abdominis right in it. But you can see how the external oblique here goes to the internal oblique here. How the external oblique here goes to the internal oblique here. So, flip that over. Once again, here's where the serratus ends. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with all those different slips. Here's the different slips of the external oblique but there is perhaps a centimeter of overlap between those two muscles, but nobody ever lists a muscle as attaching to a muscle. I'm telling you, rhomboids attach to serratus anterior, serratus anterior attaches to that, and you know that if you've ever done massage therapy or you've ever had a little brother or a little sister or a big brother who did this to you, when you take the arm and put it back up here, you get a scoop, don't you, under the scapula. If rhomboids really attached to the medial border of scapula only, you wouldn't get a scoop. They're sucked under there by their attachment to the serratus anterior. We should have known this all along. Yeah? Okay, made my point. <laughs>